In this video, I'll go through a couple of examples involving proportional reasoning and percentage changes. So for the first problem, we have a marathon runner who runs three kilometers every 10 minutes. How far does she run in one hour? And how long does she take to complete a marathon, which is approximately 42 kilometers? So this is a proportional reasoning problem. If we think about three kilometers as the distance she runs in 10 minutes, the first question is how far does she run in 60 minutes, an hour? So to get from 10 minutes to 60 minutes, we multiply by six. So if we do the same thing to the three kilometers, multiply by six, that should tell us how far she runs in one hour. And three times six is 18. So how far does she run in one hour? 18 kilometers. The other part of the question was how long does she take to complete a marathon? Approximately 42 kilometers. So let's take a look at that. Again, we've got three kilometers being run in 10 minutes. But this time we're asked, how long does it take the runner to complete 42 kilometers? So if we were to multiply three by 14, we would get 42. Three times 14 is 42. So if we multiply 10 also by 14, that should tell us how long it takes to complete the marathon. And 10 times 14, of course, is 140. So it would take her 140 minutes or two hours and 20 minutes, which is not too far off a world record. Another way of thinking about this kind of problem is to use a double number line. So we can set up our number line here with kilometers as one line, minutes as the other line, and we start with zero kilometers and zero minutes. The first tick mark is at three kilometers or 10 minutes. The second tick mark will be at six kilometers or 20 minutes. Okay, and then the next one will be at nine minutes sorry, nine kilometers and 30 minutes, and then 12 kilometers and 40 minutes and so on. We just keep going until we've got enough tick marks on our double number line to answer the two questions. So the answer to one of the questions, how far does she run in an hour, is gonna be here because one hour is 60 minutes, so 18 kilometers, and the other, question was how long does it take to complete the marathon, which is 42 kilometers, so 140 minutes. Okay, percentage change, which can cause a lot of difficulties. So hopefully this, will, this example will help you work through some of those difficulties. So we've got a laptop computer on sale for 12% off but sales tax is 12%. So the question is, does the computer cost the same, less or more than the pre-sale price before tax, which we'll just call P. Okay, we don't need to know what P is. Could be $1,000, could be $2,000. It's one of the new MacBook Pros, it could be three or $4,000. Doesn't matter because the question the answer to the question doesn't matter, doesn't depend on what the price is. All it depends on is this information here. It's on sale for 12% off, but sales tax is also 12%. So it's very common for children to say, well, it's gonna cost the same. It's 12% off, but you have to add tax. But that's not the correct answer. So let's see why it's not. Okay, so let's write some things down. Sale price is 12% off. 
And the way that you calculate 12% off is to multiply the number by 0.88. Okay, that will give us 88% of the original price. And that's the same thing as 12% off, 88% of the original price. So that gives us the sale price. But now we have to pay tax on the sale price. The tax is 12%. If we're adding 12% on, we need to multiply by 1.12. That's how you add 12% onto a number. You multiply it by 1.12. And we're multiplying the sales price. Remember the sale price was 0.88 times P. Okay, so we have our equation. Now we just need to calculate that out and solve it. Well, because of the commutative property, we can multiply those two numbers first and then multiply by the price, the pre-sale price before tax, whatever that is. And 1.12 times 0.88, if you calculate that out, that comes to 0.9856. Okay, so this means that the sale price after tax is 0.9856 times P, which is less than P. It's less than the pre-sale price before tax. Okay, so that's how percentage changes work. That brings us to two questions. So the first question is, if $7,500 is 60% of a company's budget for a project, then what is the company's budget? And what percent of the budget is $10,000? Okay, so this is a similar problem to the first problem we worked through. Remember the first problem was about the marathon runner using proportional reasoning. So use proportional reasoning here to figure out the answer to question one. And then question two, Henrietta and Thibault started the same job at the same time and earned identical salaries. Henrietta, got a raise of 10% after six months and another raise of 20% after a year. Thibaut, on the other hand, got a raise of 31% after a year. The question is, who had the higher salary after one year? So this problem is similar to this one, the percentage change problem. So think about how you would solve the salary problem using the same ideas from the percentage change problem.